To me, the EU really matters when it comes to the energy and also the climate issues and policies. Um, fragmented solutions will not work here. Um, having a holistic view is the key crucial element. And if we then take that a notch down, what does that mean? What's the priorities? What are the issues? I think under the whole entire umbrella, the number one priority has to be the internal energy market. Getting that up and running will secure energy supplies, will, will fix renewable penetration, will fix a lot of things. It will also drive competition, which drives innovation and investments, which at the end is what, to me, the sum of all that is actually put in the consumer at the centre. EU leadership on the whole climate uh, agenda globally has clearly been absolutely instrumental and crucial to get to where we are today. No, no question about it. The Paris Agreement, the signing in New York, all of that has been a, an absolute victory. And as a company, uh, even an oil and gas company like Statoil, which I'm representing, we fully supported it just before, during and after. This is a great result. Now, what's next? What, what, what do we do now? That's, of course, a big question. And, and to me, it's really about, you know, now we got the deal in the bag, we have to then get policies out there. We have to get legislation in place. And for EU, that means 2030 legislation has to get in place. And number one under that is clearly, for me, the effort sharing decision. That is the crucial underpinning factor to get ratification from the EU side. And we don't want to be late compared to the rest of the world. So it's important for our continued leadership. But it's also important to drive investments. It's important for then countries and industries, every single industry, know what they have to contribute. And then I think investments can start to flow. Despite the potential perfect summer storm that EU could be facing this year, whether it's the UK referendum, whether it's immigration issues, whether it's geopolitical tensions, a lot of issues there to, that will take a lot of time and effort. Despite all that, we do need to get some key piece of legislation in place. For energy, and for us, that means internal energy market. We have to get going on that. Effort sharing decision on ETS and on the climate side. You know, there, are, anyway, there are others, but those are two of the main key ones. Those need to get in place to unlock the investments. And for Europe today, we need that unlocking. Because in the end, investment flows are what is going to solve the jobs and growth priority in question, which is still the number one issue and priority for this commission.